Welcome back to 843 TV here at Rickenbach Chevrolet. And now we're going to be talking with Charles Sampson of Charles Sampson Group of Charter One Realty. Don't really need much of introduction, Charles. <laughs> I think everyone probably knows a lot about you and what you all do. You are sponsoring the MVP portion of the WHHI TV series. Great community support we've got. Well, thank you. Tell us why you do some of the things you all do. Well, this is our third year, and, and uh, as I've said before, we've lived here since 72. We've had three daughters go through the public schools. All three of them were involved in athletics. One of them was a trainer, and she now is a nurse at the hospital. Uh, we have uh, six grandchildren. Um, one has already graduated. He was a wrestler. Uh, two of them are at May River, football player, volleyball player, uh, basketball player, baseball player. And another one at Hilton Head High is going to be a baseball player. And then two younger ones, I don't know what they'll do yet. So, so giving back and, and support in schools and, and these young athletes is, is, is important. I mean, it's a thing to do. Uh, and to go out and, and uh, be with Chris and Bob and, and see the production that they do. I mean, there are, I'm sure there are communities in this country that don't have anything like what we have here. Mm -hmm. It's and a great show you put on. It well, really is a fantastic production. Yeah. The post that you see on TV, is, it's fabulous. It is. So. Well, we want to make it exciting for everybody. And, you know, as much as I love doing it, you know, Bob is a true professional and he's been a great mentor for me. And I really, you know, and he's a great friend and I really enjoy doing the game. So we'd like to think that our enthusiasm certainly spreads out to all of our viewers. And we so appreciate Charles and, you know, his group, the Charles Sampson Group of Charter One Realty, being our MVP sponsor at the end of the game. We, um, we always enjoy interviewing whoever sure. the MVP is at the end of the game and doing the best we can to get them to talk as much as possible, because <laughs> sometimes that's so a bit of a challenge. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's really it's a great way to culminate the evening, and yeah. we're so glad that Charles is part of it. Well, yeah. and, and to see the, the, the excitement of the kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the team is always huddled around that player. Yeah. And that's what's really exciting to see it that. It is. Mm -hmm. it, just yeah. out of curiosity, when you choose that player for the night, for the game, what, is there a criteria? What are you thinking? Well, obviously, we're choosing the MVP. So we're, you know, the committee. And we're just going to say we have a committee that does that. The committee is looking for somebody that's probably made a difference in the game. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times somebody that might have made a difference for the team going into that game. So there are a whole bunch of different factors. It's not necessarily always one big play or something that, you know, is like, oh, my goodness gracious. There are a lot of different factors that go into it. And um, so far we haven't had any complaints. So, you know, <laughs> knock on wood, you know, yeah. we're going to go ahead and keep the ball rolling in that direction. Mm -hmm. It's great. Real estate. That's why you're here. Uh, you've been in business a very long time. Give us a snapshot of the market right now. Yeah. I mean, real estate is is how we are able to give back to the community and we've been very 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 fortunate we've been in since 1985 in in uh, real estate been the president of the association a couple times and been honored by realtor of the year three times but but comparing 2018 2019 2018 was absolutely my best year in real estate i mean it was amazing wow. the phone started ringing and just kept on ringing um in in the weather in the northeast and midwest help us so this year I don't know that we're going to be as good. Uh, we're MLS wide. We're one tenth of percent higher than what we were last year. Uh, we've sold three hundred. I've got notes. Three thousand one hundred fifty properties so far year to date. Um, and the median price is three hundred twenty-one thousand dollars. Now on Hilton Head, uh, homes between twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen. There were 731 sold last year, and year to date this year only 693. So they were about 5% down. Uh, price wise, we're also about 2% down. Uh, villas, which is kind of interesting, we're up. Uh, in 18, there were uh, 753, and so far this year, there's 766, and their price is up about 2%. So it kind of evens out, uh, and I think what you're seeing is you're seeing the second home buyers coming back a little bit more to, to yeah. picking up the villas. Um, they, there are some real good reasons to list a home or, or buy a home. Interest rates, interest rates today compared to a year ago on an average are about 3.6%. 
a year ago they were 4.5. Oh, that's quite significant. So it's, it's mm -hmm. almost a full percent down yeah. and it looks like they may even go down a little bit more. Inventory, inventory, what you want to try to do is be six months. If you have six months, you're not a buyer's market, you're not a seller's market, you're an even market. And the inventory right now is about five months. Year ago, last year, this time it was 5.2. So it's come down a what little bit. What does that actually mean when you say the you look at You look at the number of sales that you've made in, in let's say in Hilton Head Plantation. Maybe you've made 20 sales this month and you have 80 homes on the market. So that's four months worth of inventory. So six months is an even market and again, not a buyer, not a seller. So if you're four months, you're maybe now into a seller's market where prices may go up a little bit. But let's talk about the, the, the customer. Uh, where are they coming from? Do you, do you see a pocket of each year that someone all of a sudden is coming from Philadelphia or from yeah. Canada or someplace? Well, it, I tell you what, in, this, in this, the winter, if you look at the cars, about every third one is, has a Canadian license plate on. Hmm. But because of the, the, the difference in monies and stuff, they're not necessarily our buyers. They are some of our buyers. Um, with the airport now having direct flights to Chicago, Philadelphia, Washington, New York, we're going to get more of those people. But we've always been a, a Midwest, Northeast, Virginia, um, Atlanta, Charlotte, and South Carolina. That's been our market. Charles, there's so much great information here, but we do have to wrap it up. I want to say thank you to supporting the football around in our community. It's terrific to get all the, the lay down uh, the, from the markets. So I we want to, what do you yeah. want to say? And all the other things that you all do for our community, we thank you well, very thank much. You. So thank you. thank you all for watching this episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. <laughs> <laughs>